Hello, and welcome to this session in which we would look at this basic database, payroll database, and we need to be familiar with database terms. So we are giving three exhibits, exhibit A, exhibit B, and exhibit C, and we are being asked to determine which exhibit, A, which exhibit is the files exhibit, which exhibit is considered the record exhibit, and which exhibit is considered the fields exhibit. So simply put, do you understand what files, record, and fields are in a database if you are giving this information? Well, what is files or what is a file? Well, in, in the traditional based database, in a traditional based database system, a file is a, collect, is a collection of records. Uh, well, it's the same thing as when we say a table in the modern relationship database, it's the same thing. So in your opinion, between exhibit A, which is the payroll database, Exhibit B, which is just a number, the $89,000 salary, and Exhibit C is this, these fields here. So which one is considered the files, which one is the record, and which one is the field? Well, let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. The files, the file is the collection, is the collection of many records. That's the file. Well, the file here is Exhibit A. Exhibit A, it has a collection of all the employee information, such as social security number, start date, pay rate, code, salary, whether they are exempt or non-exempt, and this would also include their name, their addresses, their phone number, so on and so forth. But Exhibit A is considered a file, which is representing the file, therefore A is Exhibit A. Again, this Exhibit A could also be considered a table, basically the same terminology. A record. What is a record? So between B and C, which one is a record? Which one is a record? Well, we need to know that a record is a collection of related fields. Now, well, so which one is the field? Well, the field is B. Field is one item. The field is an individual piece of data within a record. So notice here, so C, exhibit C, will be the record. A record, a record of one employee, employee 7620956224. This key will be maybe the primary key for, for the employee database for this record, will be the social security number, will be the primary key. We'll talk about the primary key and the foreign key in a separate recording, but basically this will be a primary key. So a record is a collection of record that represent a single entity or an item, which is an employee information. Therefore, what we're left with is the fields, and in the field, or in the fields, the $89,000, the salary by itself, this, not, this, this amount here, is considered a field. So once again, to wrap it up, to kind of summarize, just kind of basic terminology, this is the file, this whole thing here is the file. Again, it could be considered a table. The row, the row in each file, the row in each file here, we have two rows, is considered a record. And the item within e each single item within each row is a field. Again, I hope this short, I wanna con I'm not sure if you want to consider it a simulation or short exercise, will familiarize you with those terms. Now, Will you, be, will you see something like this on the CPA exam? Maybe in a multiple choice questions, you have to differentiate between a field, a record, and a file, but you might see a more complicated database, which we will work other databases uh, simulations as well. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures to learn more about database in general, to look at additional resources, multiple choice, true, false, exercises that's gonna help you prepare for your CPA exam. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.